the guidebook was added to the game. And what the guidebook is, is basically an in-game Wikipedia. The access it, you press zero on your numpad, and it's being updated constantly, and it was added like the day of the last uh, update video, so I missed it. And you can just click through it, I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, it's missing a lot still, it's brand new, it needs extra contributors to write guides. Um, I'm not so good at writing them, or otherwise I would. I feel like I'm better off just explaining in words, I'm not good at typing them. But uh, yeah, it's really useful for learning at least the basics of certain jobs and some controls. The PDA light has been turned into a 360 degrees PDA light rather than a tiny frontal cone. Gives you a little bit more situational awareness and just awareness overall when you're in dark areas. New papers have been added to the game, or so more so paper formats. So like, there's like the captain's uh, paper, the captain's thoughts, the cargo invoice, the office paper, and a few others have been reformatted to look nicer and enhance roleplay in certain scenarios. The banana phone and red phone have been added, not added, but have been given functionality. Well, the banana phone was added. Anyways, you just right click the banana phone and you can call and you're supposed to pretend you're calling the honk mother, but what it really does is it just sends a message to the admins and you can see in the chat that you can use it to request funny things and the results will vary. Lace have had their, hmm. They now automatically stack their outputs. So like if you're making something like cable coils, for example, when they're all done queuing, they'll stack together like so. Now there's two. It is a nice minor quality of life addition that makes saves or that can save a ton of clicks and I'm all Attention. for saving a ton of clicks. Syndicate ballistic turrets no longer target syndicate reinforcements. Uh, the only scenario you'd ever see this actually happen is if the Nukies get reinforcements. And yeah, you can even pet the turrets, which is something I just learned right now. Syndicates are now selected later in the round, as in they are not on round start. It can be anywhere after five minutes, and the time's a little bit random. So if you join and aren't immediately a syndicate, uh, don't be one of the people that suicides immediately because you didn't get what you wanted. Um, you could end up being a syndicate after a random amount of time. Magazines and boxes of ammo can now be used to instantly load up magazines. So this magazine has 24 shots, this one has 24. Now if you just take one magazine and left click on another magazine, it fills up the other magazine. You do have to rapid click. And there is no way to do all at once right now. But this is still... Miles better than individually picking up like a dozen bullets at a time. Condiment stations were added to the game, and they are something that can be mapped. But they currently give you a bunch of different plates, forks, utensils, and basically every single condiment in the game. Uh, so there could be some minor interesting uses with this, and it just adds some extra cool role-playing flair. And the sprite looks really nice. The E-Sword and E-Dagger, or E-Pen, have been given a change. The sword is made cheaper and was given a slight damage buff. As you can see, it now does 9.5 units of slash and heat while turned on. And the E dagger now is quieter just overall. And the damage wasn't changed. But it's not nearly as loud anymore, but turning it on is still fairly loud. Cardboard uniform gives you a robotic looking text bubble. Doesn't change any of your speech patterns or your accent or anything, but a cool looking speech bubble. Anomalies have been changed where the severity will now fluctuate a little bit every time they pulse. So there's no more putting the uh, anomaly to 95% and just keeping it there because it's infinite points. Because now after an anomaly pulses, the severity can change. And due to that, that means you can accidentally let a contained... Anomaly fluctually as you can see. Yeah, this one is growing, which I probably should have used a different example, but the severity Will not fluctuate and it isn't nearly as safe to stay at a 95% stable because it isn't stable as it used to be Probably one of my favorite changes galoshes were removed from the janitor drone So gone are the days of people breaking into the janitor's closet within the first 15 seconds to get no slips and this should reduce the amount of power gaming from both heads and non-alike valid hunters and such um unfortunately it needed to be done because well like i said it was 
basically every single round you see somebody breaking into the janitor's closet on round start or even the captain to go in and put on no slips just so they have a slight combat advantage the fake nuke disc has had its description completely copied with the actual nuke disc the fake nu nuke disc is on the left so now the only way you can actually authenticate which is the real nuke disc is by using a pin pointer so make sure you don't somehow get outplayed by a fellow syndicate with a fake nuke disc and uh yeah nukies you're not going to run into a fake nuke disc but this can make sure but make sure you're getting the right one hard suits have received more thematical looking lights so for example the security hard suit has a slight red hue to it and the engineering hard suit has a slight yellowish hue to it and that's been changed for multiple hard suits but i'm not going to explain and show every single one it is up to you to figure out all of the single different new colors on the hard suits but it looks a lot nicer spiders have had their combat stats buffed they can also now drag things and most importantly they actually can spawn webs now with slow non uh spiders down so they have a good bit more use in combat but they still can't go under doors so you're gonna have to still chew your way out of the door but due to the combat buff it won't be nearly as difficult and last but not least, Barotrauma damage has been buffed. Before, humans with oxygen had 170 seconds to survive in space. Now that timer has been cut down to about 70 seconds with oxygen, and you have even less time if you don't have oxygen. As always, I encourage you guys to read through the change log yourself. This week had a massive amount of changes. I only covered the more significant ones, otherwise this video would end up being 20 minutes long, and a lot of them are more minor things that you are like bug fixes and bug fixes of the week and stuff like that or just things that you won't see like i didn't really cover all the centcom stuff because well it's mainly admin and you're not going to see it all the time anyways scroll through the list here you can do this yourself i encourage you to do it yourself i'd like you all to thank our lovely contributors and maintainers for keeping the game updated and keeping it keeping it going and that is really all for now. I shall catch you all next week with even more cool changes and updates. And thank you all for watching.